Over 20,000 are affected in St. Vincent and the Grenadines as the La Soufri volcano has erupted, disrupting the lives of many citizens on the island. And the first major shipment of relief is expected to leave our shores at 6 a.m. tomorrow. It was bustling activity at the Foundation for the Enhancement and Enrichment of Life at the Fernandez compound as relief items were being sorted. Field Chief Executive Officer Elena Villafana Sylvester says they have been preparing for weeks. Of course, Field would have started our effort to put goods together for St. Vincent, expecting that eventually the volcano would have erupted. So we began our preparations over a month ago. Well, the items are actually going to leave our warehouse today and they should be shipped tomorrow. So the first vessel should actually leave for St. Vincent tomorrow. She says the items range from food supplies, utensils and the cleaning apparatus as well. Mrs. Villafana Sylvester explains the reality as to what is happening on the ground. It's bad in a number of ways. One is that they have the challenge that when people were leaving to go to the shelters, they virtually left with a knapsack. That was all that you were able to leave with. So when they arrived at the shelters, they really had the clothes on their backs and whatever they could fit into their knapsack. She urged citizens who are willing to don't drop items but make cash donations. Already two local banks have pledged to the St. Vincent Relief effort. In terms of um, providing feel with the support to be able to lend support to St. Vincent to donate, to our disaster account, that way I could purchase in bulk. So for example, today, when I went to make purchases, I can call a company and I could say, listen, I'm going to purchase 400 cases of X item. How many cases would you be willing to give me um, as a donation? Over at Siwa Titi, although they will not be sending immediate supply, the group is also aiming at raising a million dollars. See what TT President Rivan Tilok Singh says they are working towards supportive assistance for the citizens of St. Vincent. We will be dealing with things in the short term. So there's the immediate term, which is being handled by the ODPM, um, ITNAC, and a couple other people who are set up for that. We will deal with the short term. So we are looking to send our stuff within um, 10 to 14 days. These are among the many non-governmental organizations joining in the relief effort for those affected in St. Vincent. On Tuesday morning, all the items and more will leave on board the Galleon's passage along with 50 members of the Defense Force. On its return, the vessel will bring back home TNT nationals who were in St. Vincent. Otto Carrington, CNC3 News.